Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television GPTV. It's Wednesday, which means it's brand new comic book day, and new comics are hitting the shelves all across the world. You can get them digitally, get them physically, get them any way you want. It's a new comic book day, and in my hands is one of those releases from Marvel. It's Winter Soldier, number one, taking the character in a whole new direction, and, you know, it's actually pretty interesting stuff. So, uh, the comics by Kyle Higgins is writing, Rod Rice is artist, uh, Clayton Cowell is the letterer. Uh, so, the, the Winter Soldier is a character, a classic character, is Bucky Barnes, who wound up, you know, obviously getting um, uh, injured in, in World War II. He didn't actually get injured, he wound up getting frozen and taken by uh, the Russians, and then brainwashed, he became a Winter Soldier, who was like an assassin, and then eventually he wound up becoming a good guy again, and was Captain America for a while. So he's all about a redemption story. So it's an interesting comic in that he's obviously found redemption, so he's going to help other people find redemption themselves. It's a really fantastic concept, and the first issue is really interesting. I do have some minor issues with it, uh, particularly of who gets some redemption, but uh, the story starts off with him uh, helping a cop who wants to get away from a bunch of dirty cops. Very interesting concept. I kind of dig it. And then eventually goes back to someone that he uh, helped in the past who uh, was a Hydra agent and helped torture people. Now, this is where I have an issue. Uh, those That would be like basically helping a Nazi who killed people in Auschwitz uh, or wherever. Like, this is the equivalent that we're looking at. War crimes were committed. Torture happened. This person shouldn't be in a witness protection program. They should be in jail. So having that as uh, a person that he helped, I find like really kind of questioning his whole system as to who he's bringing uh, along. Unless this person's kind of gone like state's evidence and is helping bring down other people, which doesn't seem like the case, uh, this is kind of a jacked up concept, uh, at least in that particular thing, and probably a little short-sighted. Uh, yeah, you know, it's going back and kind of doing the whole Hydra thing and, and uh, at least touching upon that a little bit, but at the same time, like how it's being done, eh, it's just, it was, it's a poor choice. Uh, and definitely kind of took what was otherwise a fantastic first issue and made me kind of question uh, some, well, obviously the choices. Uh, but, like, as a whole, like, this is a good, it's a good issue. Like, the art's really cool. There's some great concepts to it. And uh, the, the uh, whole bringing uh, Bucky and Winter Soldier and having him uh, help others, like he's helped, been helped and uh, found redemption is a great idea. So... Love the concept of the comic, and then the end has got like a really cool twist that I can't wait to see where it goes. Basically, it seems like it's going to be Bucky versus uh, Hydra, which is which is fine. The art is kind of fascinating. Check out some of this art. It's a really, really uh, unique style. And works for the most part in the uh, comic. And where I think it, why it works is that uh, it plays off of him having memory issues and some of kind of like the uh, the flashes that he's having. So overall, like the comic's solid. Like it's a really good, solid, good comic. I just really have issues with uh, the fact that he's clearly helped uh, ex Hydra operatives find redemption when you know these people committed war crimes and really should be in jail. So uh, odd choice, but whatever uh basically it's a minor it's a minor plot point to get the story going but it's an odd pop point uh so this is out in comic shops today go support your local comic book shop they are the backbone of the industry really important without them the industry just would not function uh if you don't know if you have a shop near you there's a link beneath this video right beginning of this video uh that you can put in your zip code it'll tell you if a shop's near you no shop no problem we have affiliate links also beneath this video. There are affiliate links, so you know, you help us and our site. Uh, speaking of helping our site, I want to thank Marvel hooking us up with this review copy where I always like to, uh, you know, obviously thank people, but also be transparent as to what we get for free so you can decide how full of it we are. Uh, and I want to thank you, the viewers, for checking out our video. Now, if you're into Marvel, if you're into comics, you can check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. So until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. 
You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.